axis frame relay address mapping here we can see this is router a and router b and router c so this is an frame relay so in frame in this is an cloud in cloud we have dozens of frame relay switches so frame relay address mapping for example in local area network we can use the mac address we can send the packets from source to destination but in frame relay concept we can use serial interface so in serial interface we cannot create the mac address so instead of mac address we can use the del c value to send the data from source to destination so here frame relay here you can see del c 500 for example harp and inverse harp so frame inverse harp means using del c value we can find the ip address it's an inverse harp frame lemma harp means using ip address we can find out the del c value for example router a here we can mention the 500 so using that 500 del c value we can find out that mac address 10.1.1.1 means it is an inverse harp so inverse harp means maps the local del c to the remote router network layer address so inverse of miss using del c value we can find out the destination ip address otherwise we can using that ip address we can find out the destination del c value means it is an harp so here this is an lmi local management interface it defines the signaling standards that the lmi is an locally significant frame relay signaling i already told you that lmi is an local management interface it defines the signaling standards so cisco supports three lma standards that is cisco ansi it u hyphen t for example this is router a router b and router c so this is an cloud in cloud we have dozens of frame rate switches so this is an LMA local management interface and this is a local management interface and it is a local management interface so the LMA is a locally significant locally significant means the router A can be connected to the cloud so this is a locally significant that means here we can use the LMA standard Cisco and here router B can be connected to cloud here we can use the ANSIG so it can be working so that's why only LMA is a locally significant Cisco supports three types of LMA standards Cisco and see itu hyphen t configuring basic frame lay so how to configure the frame lay concept so here we can take this is an headquarters this is a branch this is a cloud in cloud we have dozens of frame lay switches so first of all we can go to that this router serial interface so frame relay is a van protocol so first of all by default in serial interface the default van protocol is hdlc so we can change that protocol into frame relay so how to change that protocol means go to that particular interface interface serial one so here we can give encapsulation frame relay so the van protocol can be changed into hdlc into frame relay that same configuration can be given to the branch office also then here we can give the bandwidth 64 configuring a static frame relay okay how to configure a static frame relay here we can see this is an head headquarters branch office in headquarters we can go to that particular interface interface serial one so here we can give the encapsulation frame relay we can change the layer to van protocol hdlc into frame relay next we can give the ip address so here we can give the static frame relay static frame relay means we can manually configure where the packets from headquarters to where the packets can be go to the the destination for example frame relay map ip address this ip address is an destination ip address here we can see 10.16.0.2 is a branch office ip address 110 is an del c value so that del c value is here we can give 110 here we give the ip address 10.16.0.2 okay here we can give broadcast that means that frame relay map ip address 10.16.0.2 can be mapped into the del c 110 can be mapped 
map it into the type here as 10.16.0.2 here in frame relay by default it is a non broadcast multi axis that means the broadcast cannot be supported so that broadcast indicates to map that ip address the del c value can map into that ip address so the del c can indicates the different virtual permanent virtual circuits because this is cloud in cloud we don't know that connections so in cloud we can create the logical connections for example router a to branch office here we have another branch office means router a to another branch office but we can connect a single physical interface only but in cloud we can create logical connections so that is said to be an pvc permanent virtual circuit that permanent virtual circuit is indicated by del c value for example here we can give 100 means that 100 indicates the virtual circuit from headquarters to branch office here we can give the 200 means that 200 indicates virtual permanent virtual connections between headquarters to another branch office okay